Welcome to our introduction to our print cache receipts for Microsoft Dynamics GP. Microsoft Dynamics GP, uh, as people know uh, who actually use GP uh, and do cache receipts, does not have a, the ability to print cache receipts out of the box. Our print cache receipts allows you to be able to print a cache receipt from the cache receipts entry window. Um, either at the time that you're entering it or saving it um, into your system. If we go ahead and print it, this is a DEX report that you can modify. It's graphical, so you can add logos um, and add any of the information from the cash receipt onto this particular thing that you can then hand to your customer when they pay you or you could send it to PDF and email it to them, et cetera. Um, so this is one place where you can print, but not only that, you can print from inquiry or from transactions in the um, transaction entry window. If you're doing a payment uh, from here, you'll notice there's a print cash receipt uh, for either cash check or credit card um, types of payments here as well. Um, so if we were looking at, um, let's say an invoice and we had this invoice and we were gonna say that we received some cash. Um, there, I'll click okay. And the sale here, it's 200. So now we've got um, 200 here and make sure we've got this here. And now we can print the cash receipt for cash. Oh, gotta open that window. And print that cash receipt here. And so we can see we've got the cash receipt for the $200. Again, you can modify it to add things, um, but this is another place where we can print cash receipts um, for either of these payments as we're actually recording the invoice and receivables. Um, we also can do it from the inquiry window. So if we delete this and we go to our inquiry sales, transactions by customer. And let's see if we can find a payment here. So if we have a payment, um, we can then open that up and we can print the cash receipt from the inquiry window as well. Um, other places we can um, enter the cash receipt um, would be any, any kind of inquiry where we can drill down to the, the actual cash receipt. Um, if we're looking at sales documents, um, if we start a sales transaction in SOP here, and we have on this invoice, or let's say uh, an order actually, delete this, start over. All right, so if we have an order and we put in our test customer here and we have item, operator shortage, and then we put in a payment, 229.95. You'll notice that we can print the deposit receipt from here as well. So we can show the payment, um, uh, the SOP, SOP payment here. Um, you might have to edit the report a little bit um, to bring in uh, this payment number there. 